What's the biggest difference when it comes to power delivery between an electric motor? This is going to hurt some folks to hear me talk about electric motors, but it is what it is. The way power generated by the pistons moving up and down reaches the motor shaft. The engine doesn't deliver power continuously like an electric motor. It delivers it in bursts. And these blows cause the pieces to be subjected to impact. And think of it this way. For every two turns of the crankshaft in a single cylinder engine, there's a combustion event, right? That combustion translates into a load that hits the piston, and that's a jolt. In a four cylinder engine, well, there are two jolts for every turn. Engines with many cylinders, they have the ability to do that to distribute it in a more even way. So that doesn't come so much in the form of knocks to what would be the engine output. As you remove cylinders from the engine, the effect becomes more noticeable. Three cylinder engines are among the last to disappear, and their vibrations are significant. These vibrations can detract from driving quality and may reduce durability by affecting various components. The vibrations take away from the driving quality and can also reduce durability in some cases because they affect a bunch of components. The transmission is going to link all those jolts. There's a solution. The solution is this. It's called a dual mass flywheel. What is a dual mass flywheel? It has an internal mass which is relatively small that's directly connected to the crankshaft. And it has an external mass, which is this one right here, and they're linked together through a spring system, one to the other. And what are those springs for? Do you know what a spring is for? comes in just like a spring, it compresses, it expands. But do you know what the primary, essential function of a spring is? To store energy. When you compress it, it stores energy. When you release it, it gives it back. So, how does this work? Springs absorb jolts, releasing energy smoothly to boost efficiency. The ones that absorb that energy are the springs. When the excitement or that jolt disappears, the spring immediately kicks in, absorbs the energy, and gives it back right when we're dealing with that vibration issue. So the idea here is to absorb the impacts that happen inside the engine, take them in internally, and then release them in a much smoother way so that the transmission receives it in a gentler manner. This brought about a fundamental change. Especially when we're looking at engines, we're looking for efficiency. Efficiency means less internal friction, among other things, because engines spend a lot of energy just moving themselves. The fewer cylinders I have, the less I'm spending, and I'm using that energy to propel the vehicle, not on internal wear or internal friction. So, if I reduce the number of cylinders, I need to use this. I have no other choice. Note that three-cylinder turbo engines are growing exponentially, and it is an absolutely clear trend. It's the only way to stop that level of vibrations. Unlike a conventional wheel, which is a single solid mass, and when you go to the mechanic and the mechanic tells you that you need to replace it, and when they tell you how much it costs to change it, you're gonna say, wow, that's expensive. But the mechanic, some sneaky ones are gonna tell you, why not just put in a conventional one, which is much cheaper. Your teeth will rattle from the vehicle's vibrations. The engine might break due to stress because everything that this is absorbing and giving back, absorbing and giving back, the engine parts are gonna have to handle it. They're designed to work with this, you know what I mean? They're not designed for anything else. So you don't mess around with this piece. And what you need in your car is reliability and comfort. This is giving you comfort on one side and reliability on the other. Dual mass flywheel. Autotech TV, technology clear and simple.